Hey everyone, welcome back to another part of the Black Widow Challenge. Dum, dum, dum. So you're probably wondering who the heck is this girl and what is she doing in her household? Well, let's simply put it, this is Elise, aged up into a teen. And the reason why you guys didn't get to see her age up, that is because my dumbass somehow accidentally deleted the previous recording. I don't know what happened, I couldn't retrieve it, it was just gone, like gone like the wind. And I tried picking up um, from the last save file, if you guys know what I mean, there is a way you can backtrack from one save file, there's like five different parts. And if you guys know what I'm talking about, great, if you don't, that's a whole other story that I'm not going to get into, but I tried backtracking. and. For some reason, all of the previous saved somehow led me back to here. It didn't, I don't know what happened. I can't really explain it because I don't really understand it myself. But let's just say I lost it. I completely lost it. I am so sorry, guys. I don't even know what to say. Like, that was a totally dumb move on my part. But I kind of have no choice but to pick up from here. But I will very quickly tell you what had happened in the previous recording that I didn't get to edit, nor did I get to upload it, and it's just gone. So, you know how Don was our um, current husband at that time, but Gabby went ahead and, you know, killed him off, um, moved in Zane, Zane the Insane, <laughs> which is this guy right here. I know, sexy, right? So we did go on a date with him and we moved him in. They got caught cheating and that's when Gabby killed off Don. And I think I have a few screenshots that I can show you, but I kind of checked. There wasn't too many, but I'll go ahead and maybe somehow put it within this part. But um, after that, uh, Don is here with the rest of our tombstone uh, showcase and that was another funny part that I'm kind of sad that I couldn't show you guys if you haven't noticed since we moved into this lot none of the tombstones were in the backyard they were not in our inventory I actually left them in our previous house in our previous lot and luckily I had Gabby go visit our previous house and she was somehow able to put every one of them into our inventory I seriously thought we failed the challenge because we lost the tombstones but like I said we were able to put in our inventory and now we are able to place it into our new lot in our new house in our backyard so everything is safe and sound and Sabrina is still the same a sweet little girl uh, she didn't get aged up the only reason why I aged up Elise it was because it was her birthday so I had to age her up or, you know, the game would have aged her up eventually. But Gabby went and made her a cake, sang happy birthday, did the whole shebang. But yeah, I am so sorry, guys. I totally lost that part. That was a really amusing part, I think. But now we may never know. All right, so just to move on with this challenge. um, Let's see. I think we just need to get a Gabby and... Zane hitched, get married, the whole shebang, and you know, eventually finding another new lover, and so forth. Alright, so Elise gained the charisma skill, and I will give Elise a quick makeover, because I don't know if you guys can tell, she looks nothing like Gabby. Nothing. She does not look anything like Gabby, like the nose, the hair, I mean, obviously the hair doesn't matter, but... The nose looks nothing like her, and I don't know, I think, I forgot who we had, who was her dad? I totally forgot. Let me double check. Let's go into the family genealogy. So her dad was, oh, Atticus, no wonder she has that nose. Alright, so, electrocution, I guess. <laughs> Alright, that's why she has the big nose. She got her from Atticus. Oh my god, why couldn't you get Gabby's trait? Gabby is so much prettier. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, but, okay. yeah, we're gonna give her a full-on makeover. Uh. Oh, but you know what? I did actually add in the, the mod. I forgot who created it, but 
it's pretty much like get to work when you go to school with your child. And uh, you know what? We're gonna go to school with Sabrina just to check out the mod. Alright, so we are at school with Sabrina. Alright, well, we're gonna have Yuli's work hard. So, as you guys know, someone... I don't know who it was, but... Someone, some genius, created this mod and it functions just like it's a work. You have objectives here that you need to complete in order to achieve the next step into getting better grades and... This is pretty much the school. It's an elementary school, and there is a difference between elementary and high school. But I didn't add in the high school. I only added an elementary school just to try it out. But I didn't really get to fully try out this mod. So this is kind of my chance to try it out. And also, as you guys know, I didn't do a mod overview for this mod. So this is somewhat of me giving it an overview, but letting you guys know how it works. And I know a whole bunch of people came out with the mod review, but I didn't bother with it just because so many people were doing it and I didn't want to be part of that craziness, but I guess this will be my chance to do so. Alright, so like I said, you have these objectives. So first thing you want to do is uh, draw. So we're going to hit up this draw table and draw shapes. So like I said, this is elementary school and... I didn't create this, so I'm gonna go ahead and link down the person who created this, their origin ID, as well as the name of the school. And if you guys wanna download it, you can join it in your own game. But uh, let me give you guys a very quick tour. Basically, here is kind of like the principal's room and her little private kind of a. Uh, or this is a receptionist area, duh. <laughs> so that's the receptionist area. You have like bathrooms, you have the cafeteria, and then um, you have like an art room. And then I guess this is like a little rest area for the kids in case they get, you know, completely exhausted. And then you come upstairs, you have the computer room, you have the, the music room, and the chemistry lab. And then with more little private bathrooms. Alright, so now since Sabrina is done with drawing, she wants to play the violin. So we'll come up here and practice on the violin. I think this is that gaming. I'll oh, play Blick Block. I've never really seen this. But then downstairs, we pretty much have kind of like a backyard with a little jungle gym, sandbox, and this little spaceship rocket. So, I just realized there are no adults in here. I guess the school is run by children. <laughs> what a what a great way. <laughs> and let's be honest, our elementary school that you and I went to did not look this pretty. Unless we went to some like crazy private like fancy schmancy elementary school. But you and I know that our school did not look this nice. <laughs> So Sabrina is just playing with her little violin that I'm trying to get a good picture of. Oh, she's not doing so great. <laughs> Alright, now that she's done playing with the violin, she wants to practice typing. Alright, so let's go ahead and jack one of these computers. Alright, we're just going to take yours. We're totally going to jack his computer. Get off my computer. <laughs> So I guess you pretty much get to do every skill building possible, hence why there are all these different type of rooms. And my notification wall is full. Alright. So I guess, I guess this is pretty cool. Like, I mean, as far as I can remember, there was no such thing as going to school with your kids in the Sims game. So this is definitely something very new. This is the first, and it's really fun. Uh, I'm so amazed that there are no adults to run this facility or this school. Alright, now that she's done, she wants to experiment. And we're gonna hit up this chemistry lab and experiment. Can we like brighten up this room? It's like so dark in here. Is there no lights? Like, well, what's the deal? <gasps> there are no lights in this room. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, I guess. I guess. So now she's going to play with her experiment. 
This is pretty cool. I mean, I mean, this is a really cool mod. Oh, damn, girl. Don't blow up the school now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's definitely something very different from what we're all used to from the Sim series. So this is definitely the first. Alright, so now she wants to socialize with classmates, and we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves a friendly introduction. Our friendly introduction. And then a friendly, and then a funny, and then a friendly. Oh, we already know her. Alright, so we're gonna try and chat. Play make believe, uh, make fun of adults. So this is this is really really cool guys. And I mean of course you're gonna be hearing a speed build of me trying to build an elementary school or a high school and there is definitely a trick to making the school work properly when you have the interaction to go to school or join them on the day of school. If you guys want me to make a tutorial out of it, please go ahead and let me know because I know it is a little confusing and some people might not get it to work right away because I sure didn't. It did take me a little researching to how to get it working properly. So if you guys want to see a review, let me know in the comments below. Alright, so now we're just basically um, socializing with our classmates, talk about school, and you gotta do this 20 times in order to earn a gold medal, I think. I'm not too sure. But right now, she's a C student, so she's definitely gonna get, um, she's gonna bring her grades up today. Alright, so she is getting hungry as well as starting to stay. Alright, let, let's stop the interactions. Alright, why don't you come in here and just wash your hands until your hygiene goes up. Since there isn't an actual shower in here. And, um, there is no cafeteria, lady. How do we... Well, I guess we'll just have ourselves a quick meal. This is like the best way to bring your hygiene up without actually using a shower. Oops. Oops. Wrong button. Alright, so let's have ourselves a quick meal. And we'll try to complete uh, this... Blah, blah. <laughs> this objective, but if we can, we're just gonna go home. Because you do actually have the option to extend your stay at school and stay late, but what kid in the right mind would want to stay at school after school, right? <laughs> I sure didn't. Alright, so she's gonna grab herself a meal, and I guess we'll come out here and talk to this kid. If he's not leaving. Or actually, we'll talk to her. Stop. Stop moving. We're gonna do a funny introduction. Hey, where is she going? I don't know, but... Alright, so she's gonna go talk to her. I mean, this is a really nice break from, you know, this challenge. Because, like I said, everything's getting very repetitive. It's getting very boring, and Sabrina is totally sitting in the teacher's chair. But... There's no adults in here, so kids can do whatever they want. Alright, so as I, as I was saying, it's a nice break, you know? At least we're doing something a little different. And I get to do this mod review, so... I guess it's, I guess it all worked out for the best. Alright, so Sabrina's school day will end in one hour. She should wrap up what she is doing. Each school day can be extended once by clicking on the event timer. Like I said, why do we want to stay later than we have to? Stop being so mean to them. You're here to make friends. So we're gonna do heartfelt compliment, friend day. Oh, we already did one. All right. So we're gonna do brand day. Uh, let's joke about boogers. That's always a great conversation to have. A joke about boogers. <laughs> uh, brand day. He and this kid is really not getting along. Tyrell. Tyrell. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, oh, let's try grafting together if we even still have time. Okay, we have like six seconds, so not much we can do. And our day has ended. Our end of show, technically. 
Sabrina has been working hard and she is now a great student. Great job. Of course, we don't earn any money from going to school or else that would be freaking awesome. So, grades are up. Yes, we are all so proud. And uh, Yulise is... She's still stuck with the B, but... She'll get better. She will get better. Alright, so let's have Yulise go and do her homework. Same goes for Yulise. Did I say Yulise twice? I meant Sabrina do her homework, then Yulise. Duh. <laughs> Alright, um... Gabby is still very, very sad. Let's have, um... Let's have her... Let's have Zane try to cheer up Gabby. Try to cheer up... Before we move on and get married and all that shebang. Come on, you have like such a stud standing in front of you trying to cheer you up. Got a few better. Oh my god, drama queen. <laughs> drama queen. Such a thank you. Let's just hope that it will cheer her up. The hearts at and the big hearts at. Right. So let's hope that she has a satisfying woohoo and she'll be cheered up. I don't know, let's see. Alright, so she's <gasps> performed poorly. Oh my god, but he had a good woohoo. Oh my god. Everything is just going wrong with Gabby right now. Like, everything. But let's go ahead and have <laughs> him ask her to be girlfriend. Yeah, see? Yeah. That should Rouge. cheer her up. Well, at least she's embarrassed and not sad now, right? Uh, <laughs> Alright, so that's, that's great. At least, you know, they're officially <laughs> boyfriend and girlfriend. Let's, um, let's go ahead and offer massage. I hope that she won't reject our proposal. Alright, so she's complete with her homework. Let's have her do extra credit and watch them. Oh, she's saying yes. Okay, at least she said yes. God, like, finally! <laughs> Alright, what is this girl doing? Alright, why don't you go ahead and play some computer game? Zane and Gabriella just got engaged. So I'm just getting everyone queued up, and we're just gonna wait till the next part before we go ahead and throw a wedding party, and then a dinner party. That's just something we'll have to look forward to in the next part. You know what? I am gonna go ahead and just, you know, get everyone situated, put them to bed, so you guys won't really miss much, but this is spoiled. Alright, that's bad. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this part, and by the start of the next part, it will be morning time, and we will throw our dream wedding for the 8th time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, the 8th time. So we are coming really close to finishing this. I am, I cannot wait till it's over, so I can, you know, dedicate my time to something a little more fun. But, um, hope you guys did enjoy this part, and hope you guys liked the mod review. Like I said, if you want me to do a tutorial, go ahead and let me know, and I will teach you guys how to properly install and work the mod. Yep. Alright, like always, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day or night. And of course, don't forget to comment, rate, or subscribe if you haven't already, because you're just not going to regret it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.